And we have more on the death of a Bradley County inmate this week. The sheriff's office confirms with us that inmate did test positive for COVID-19 last month, but the cause of death is still under investigation. Channel 3's Jake Chapman has the story. A spokesperson with the sheriff's office confirms for Channel 3 Joseph Dewhurst tested positive for COVID-19 a few weeks ago and had recovered from the virus and put back into traditional pod on July 6th. But the news of his death has activists asking questions. It's having a toll on not just us, the family, friends, as well as the rest of the incarcerated that's still on the inside. Tiffany Daly, along with other activists, have protested for weeks on the conditions of the jail after the news broke out that 33 Three people tested positive for the virus in June. Because we didn't realize the extent or the, the what's going on behind the walls. And families of those inside continue to hear claims of how their loved ones are treated. And when we're being told that they're not okay and that they're being denied medical treatment. Yeah. And so now these other people are in here and they're scared. They, they don't know what's going to happen because they're not telling them anything. Sheriff Steve Lawson says his department continues to follow strict guidelines from the Tennessee Corrections Institute. Inmates are screened before entering the building and have provided cleaning supplies for them to clean their cells. They've also received masks from donors to distribute amongst inmates. But Daly says they plan to continue speaking up for those inside these walls. We're not here to cause problems. We're not here to, as we were told, inside a riot. You know, we're not doing that. We're here to bring peace to the family members by being the voices for their loved ones. Our mission, and we're not going to stop until justice, justice is served and changes are made. A spokesperson with the Bradley County Sheriff's Office tells us there are no confirmed cases of COVID-19 at this time. Dewhurst's death is still being investigated by the TBI. Reporting in Bradley County, Jake Chapman, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.